good evening. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Uh, roll call, Mrs. Burns, please. Mrs. Hellenbeck? Present. Mr. Cirillo? Here. Mr. Allen is absent with prior notice. Mrs. Bowman? Here. Mr. Kovitz is also absent with prior notice. Mrs. Lafferty? Here. Mr. Rodriguez? Here. Mr. Sporney is absent with prior notice. And Mr. Sullivan? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Everybody, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. The board met in executive session this evening prior to the meeting to discuss matters of employment, issues related to labor relations, the purchase or lease of real property, matters related to litigation, and matters related to school safety and security. Mrs. Burns, are there any announcements, please? No announcements. Mr. Bowen, superintendent's report. Thank you, Ms. Hollenbach. Uh, a couple things. Uh, last Friday, the Barkin Family Healing Hearts Foundation partnered with Maple Point Middle School for its sixth annual Mother's Day walk. The event raised almost ten thousand uh, dollars that will go to help some very special mothers in our community. Uh, the students were also surprised with a guest appearance by Dallas Goddard of the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, it was an absolutely great event. Thank you, Maple Point, for putting that all together. Also last Friday, Ann Hutton, a teacher at Herbert Hoover Elementary School, was presented with the Citadel Heart of Healing Award. She was the grand prize winner for all area elementary level teachers. Uh, Bob Kelly uh, from the morning show at Fox 29 stopped by for a special visit to broadcast the great news and the surprise for her. So congratulations, Ms. Hutton. Um, also had recently had the opportunity to attend two different events at Neshaminy High School to celebrate our outstanding students. The first was our top 5% ceremony where we honor and recognize the top 5% of the senior class academically. The second was our spring athletic signing event where we had 11 of our athletes commit to playing their respective sports in college. Two awesome events to honor the academic and athletic leaders and achievers at Neshaminy High School. Uh, Maple Point and the high school both had choirs perform at the Fox 29 morning show last week at the diner in Langhorn. Uh, it was a great opportunity for the district to showcase our students and activities. Uh, Maple Point's band performed the national anthem at the Phillies game last week. Um, as usual, it's an awesome experience for our students and, and their families that go down to the game. Uh, May 25th is our military commitment ceremony uh, at Neshaminy High School, which is always a great ceremony, and it's also senior awards night that night. Uh, district Art Show takes place next Wednesday and Thursday evening at the high school. It's actually a big event uh, that there's a very large turnout for if you want to come out and see some good student artwork at Neshaminy High School. And of course, there's lots of year-end activities, concerts, and events taking place over the next few weeks. Be sure to check your school's calendar for all those dates and other information. And that's all I have, Ms. Hollenbach. Thank you. Yes, I constantly have to look at the schedule because it's ever changing uh, mrs burns anybody signed up for public comment there were no sign ups thank you we do have a few action items to go over tonight uh mr cirillo uh, i would like to approve 2.01 lease addendum samuel everett elementary <clears throat> whereas the district entered into a lease of that certain building and appurtenant tract of ground known as the samuel everett elementary school located at 145 for Scythia Drive South, Middletown Township, Bucks County, PA, with the Bucks County Intermediate Unit Number 22 for a term of seven years, commencing on July 1st, 2016, and ending on June 30th, 2023. And whereas the district and the IU desire to extend the lease agreement until June 30th, 2025, which shall include approximately $560,000 in capital improvements to be completed at the sole cost of the IU as a rent credit. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the school district enter into a first addendum to lease agreement dated June 7, 2016, with the IU for an eighth and ninth year presented at this meeting and approved by the solicitor of the school district. Be it further resolved that the president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, and solicitor of the school district are hereby authorized and directed on behalf of the school district and under its corporate seal to execute the first addendum to lease dated June 7, 2016, as presented 
at this meeting and approved by the solicitor and such other documents and other affidavits and to take such further action as may be required by law and necessary or desirable to effectuate the first addendum to lease and the intent of this resolution. There's a motion on the floor, may I have a second please? Second. Second by Mr. Sullivan. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Vote passes 6-0. Mr. Sullivan, 2.02 please. 2.02, Employee Health Care Premium 2023-2024. Whereas the Nishami School District operates a self-insured health insurance program in order to curtail curtail spiraling health insurance costs, and whereas the self-insurance program needs to operate at a break-even, and whereas the expenses for the next year are projected to reach $17.8 million, and whereas the current rates for health insurance are not projected to meet the projected expenses, and whereas the employee contractual amount of contributions is between 14% and 19%, now therefore be it resolved that the Nishamity School District premium rates for health insurance shall be raised by 6.5% for the fiscal year 23-24. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. There's been a motion on the floor. May I have a second, please? Second. Second by Ms. Lafferty. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Vote passes 6-0. 2.03 ancillary appointments for summer stock resolved that the Nishamini Board of School Directors hereby approves the following ancillary appointments for summer stock. And there are 28 names on the list. There's been a motion on the floor. May I have a second, please? Second, second by Mr. Rodriguez. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Vote passes 6 zero. Mrs. Bowman, please. I'd like to make a motion 2.04 appointment summer MTSS lead resolve that Nishamini board of school directors hereby approves the following appointment for summer MTSS lead. And there is one employee on the list. Thank you, Mrs. Bowman. There is a motion on the floor. May I have a second, please? Second. Second by Mr. Cirillo. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Vote passes 6-0. Items for approval at the public meet board meeting. 3.01, routine business matters. 3.02, annual appointments for the 2023-2024. 20, 20, 3.03, the 2023-2024 proposed final budget. 3.04, the 2023 homestead and farmstead exclusions. 3.05, summer work projects approval. 3.06, appointment of treasurer. 3.07, contracted services for 23-24. 3.08, Facility and energy usage fees, 3.09, depositories of school funds, 3.10, competitive electronic auction bidding, 3.11, cooperative purchasing agreements, 3.12, breakfast lunch pricing, 3.13, newspaper of record, 3.14, petty cash accounts, 3.15 procurement card use, 3.16 taxpayer bill of rights, 3.17 Aramark food services contract, 3.18 Sunday facility usage, 3.19 reorganization of the facilities department, 3.20 reorganization of the transportation department, 3.21 Gilmore and Associates change order number five extended construction administration administrative phase project 21-02072-01 3.22 Bucks County Technical High School budget for 2023-2024 
3.23 student settlement agreements, 3.24 homebound instruction. Well, we have a lot of stuff to go over next meeting. Next committee reports, and I am up first. Business operations. We just had a business operations meeting on May 3rd to talk about various things, the budget being one, health care, some other topics. Um, the next board meeting is going to be, there's actually two coming up. We have one on May 24th which is a special meeting at 6 p.m. here in this room. We're going to be discussing at length the health care offerings. And then our other typical business operations meeting will be June 1st at 6.30 in this room, and that will be all about the budget. Mrs. Bowman. The educational development meeting was held um, last week, May 2nd, um, and we discussed a few topics. The new academic standards for science, technology, engineering, environmental literacy, and sustainability, which is the acronym STEELS, standards and district roadmap for implementation by 2025 was presented um, by the science lead. And then we had a presentation by the technology department. Um, we got technology updates specific to current coding programs at the elementary, middle, and high school levels, and different options for the 2023-24 school year. Uh, the committee recommends that the district continue to explore options to increase coding programs and additional STEM-related programs at all levels. The committee will reconvene in the fall. Thank you, Mrs. Bowman. Mr. Sullivan, facilities and planning. I was not at the last meeting, but I believe uh, the discussion was around the uh, Maple Point Pro Elementary School, the Fields Project, and the Facilities Department. And there's an upcoming meeting on May 17th uh, in this at 6.30 in this room. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Mr. Cirillo? Uh, the Policy Committee uh, meeting that was originally scheduled for uh, May 18th has been canceled. Um, it was postponed, it will be moved to a later date, uh, more than likely in the, in the fall in the new school year. Thank you, and do you want to just follow up with the IU board? Uh, actually, the IU board, um, we already went over the uh, uh, lease agreement with Everett, so uh, nothing really new to report on that front. Thank you. Uh, then Chamonix Education Foundation, Ms. Lafferty, if you'll take over for that tonight, please. Sure. The board of the Neshaminy Education Foundation met here at Maple Point yesterday afternoon. The main agenda item was choosing the recipients of the 2023 scholarships for graduating Neshaminy High School. The NEF is pleased to announce that five scholarships for $1,000 each have been awarded this year to graduating seniors who will be attending college or trade schools next fall. The five recipients will be invited to attend the Neshaminy High School Senior Awards Ceremony on Thursday, May 25th to receive their scholarships. The NEF Alumni Committee is in the process of opening nominations for the 2023 Neshaminy Alumni Achievement Awards. The Neshaminy community will be invited to submit nominations starting next week. More information can be found at www.neshaminy.org backslash NEF. The next meeting of the NEF board will be held Monday, June 12th, 4 p.m. here at Maple Point. Community members are invited to attend and participate. Thank you, Ms. Lafferty. And you're up next with the PSBA. If you have anything to report on that? I do not have anything to report at this time. Thank you. Um, the technical school, I was given some information from Mr. Allen since he was unable to be here tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, the Bucks County Technical High School Joint Board met on April 24th, 2023 at 730 in the Bucks County Technical High School Boardroom. Neshaminy Reps, Mr. John Allen and Mr. Adam Kovacs were in attendance. Student Achievements, March Students of the Month, 10th grader Nathan Lemp from Neshaminy and Skill for Life student Akira Blackman. 
multimedia digital design students, seniors participated in Pennsylvania media and design competition. First place for digital movie went to Lucas Kolodizel. I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. From the Chamonix, first place, that's great work. And second place for animation was Emily Carter from the Chamonix, outstanding job. The Skill USA competition, April 14th in the Hershey PA, eight students from the Bucks County scored first place and will be moving on to the national competition, June 19th through the 24th in Atlanta, Georgia. Tuesday, April 4th, Bucks County Technical High School held a National Honor Society and National Technical Honor Society induction ceremony. 2023 inductees included 19 students into the Neshaminy High School and 44 students into the Honor Society. On Friday, April 14th, 30 students from the Tech School attended PICO's first ever Junior Infrastructure Academy, an event showcasing a variety of careers in the utility industry. This opportunity was open to all junior and senior high school students from the Tech School and Middle Bucks Institute of Technology who are interested in careers in the utility industry. Events included many hands-on learning activities, mock interviews, and live demonstrations on how to work safely, safely in the field of energy production. The Budget Committee, led by Mr. Allen, presented the um, Bucks County Tech School budget for approval. Um, it is $32,854,541.40. Let me say that again. $32,854,140. As per the articles of the agreement, Nishamini's portion of that is $5,304,333. Um, okay. It reflects a 2.16 increase in salaries, PEASERS, rate decrease of 1.07% in medical and prescription increase of 142,739. Academic allocation per student remains 60, same as the current year. The technical allocation increased by 4.5%. Two fifty for capital improvement project replacement of two cosmetology saloon sta salon stations that are over twenty years old. Budget was approved unanimously by the joint board and will be sent to the six um, sending districts for approval. And last but not least, the board met and approved the employment of Mark Holzman, an assistant director. Mr. Holzman has thirteen years as a career and technical educator education instructor. His most recent role is as principal of Western Montgomery Co Career and Technical Center in Limerick, PA. And the next meeting is on May 22nd, 2023 at 7.30. Whew. Congratulations again to the Nishamini winners. That brings us to closing of the meeting. Public comment. Does anybody like to come up for public comment? Future topics? Board comment. Mr. Bowman, do you have anything you'd like to add? Does anybody like to make board comment? Uh, future meetings we already went over. Which brings us to the adjournment. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Seconded by Mr. Sullivan. Everybody go have a great evening. Go Sixers if you watch basketball.